bells of yesteryear toll for the innocence of our childhood. But my childhood is gone. I see it sometimes hiding in some dim memory. Here in the starkness of my manhood I find I have a broken smile. Almost a year has passed since it happened. I remember the day there was rain and a city of windows seemed to be crying while I looked out of the naked lapping buildings of man's civilization. She came into the room and crowded it with her ways. I was pushed and crushed. I was used to that, but on that day it was not with gentleness that I was pushed or crushed. I smiled. What are you smiling at, she asked. I'm smiling for you. Well, don't, she said. I cannot help but to smile for you. I will help that, she replied, and hammered her cruel words into my smile. My smile broke, falling from my face to shatter on the floor. I went to my knees, picking up the pieces, trying to stick them back on my face. But all alas, I no longer had a smile. It was distorted and turned down. It was then I heard the hymn. I knew I was going to battle against myself. I heard the sound of it in my heart, felt the burning of it flooding my dry riverbed cheeks. I looked through my storming eyes, seeing for the first time the horde. But they'd always been there. I went out to them and felt the battle all around me. She still lives somewhere, laughing the way I know she laughs, crying the way I know she cries. She once said I was a poet, I was making things greater than they were, yet she made me greater than I was in seasons which have now all gone. Around me I see the horde. I bring you their stories. Do not take them, for I am sure you have your own. Summer tree eyes, climbing up I go, touching branches, then looking down to laugh with my shadow on the ground, while the leaves hide me from the things I fear. I rest on the limbs of the one I love. My love shares like a tree. My love shares like all the trees. She's like a lonely pine on a windswept hill, a proud oak unmoved in the storm, a jacaranda coloring a dull pavement. A fir tree of Christmas bringing joy with her branches of smiles, which shall wither slowly from green to brown sadness. Did your father, that sad-eyed man, know of the nights you spent? What did he think when you walked out the door? Did the smiling lips that said, have a good time, quiver whitely afterwards? And where did you go? Where were you Sunday morning? I have said somewhere in my crippled writings that to love somebody is to give expecting no return. That I know can no longer be, for what good is giving when there's no one to take what is given? I have never hidden what I felt, for I was always afraid of hiding myself. Today I suddenly realize that nobody can find me. I leave myself now unable to remember the face and faces of people who touched me. I only remember what they were to me, what I never was to them. It was then that I realized that I did not fear death, but it was what I would look back and regret that I feared.
days of Homburg bringing tears to a girl's eyes have all gone. They are dry now, the eyes of the girl I knew. They are dry now, the eyes of the girl I knew. They are dry now, the eyes of the girl I knew. They are dry now, dry the eyes. The guy, the eyes, the, the eyes of the girl I knew. The eyes, the girl, the guys. All the eyes and the girl, they're dry. One early morning I saw in God's skies flying objects not of this world. I saw myself near the end of my life and felt the warmth of yesterday 